Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Mark at Mark's Home Improvements. Welcome back. Um, this is um, part two of the uh, the first one I've done, the video. Um, just have a look at this. Uh, this is how far we have got so far today. Um, a little bit more uh, work than expected, but uh, we're getting around it. I'll put it around. I'll turn it up. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this is where we are at the moment. Um, we've took uh, most of the middle soil out. They had two flower beds, raised flower beds with the sleepers. Um, but what someone had done is uh, they put these sleepers down on just on the soil and there was a lot of moisture getting under because this is like a, a raised bed here. I mean, the, you can see the grass line. That was the original line. But on the top of the bank up on the top here, um, it's quite low. So we have, we've lifted a lot of the soil up and pushed it up on the top um, to level off the ground. So just to keep the soil back, we've put this um, like partition up for the time being. Um, just to take, ho hopefully hold the uh, soil while we get the footings down. Now we uh, attempted to dig out today. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you. You can see they've got a lot of water problems here now because we're on right on the waterbed. Now, as you can see there, I mean, I've only just gone down 300 and straight away I've hit the water line. Now this is uh, going to be a bit of a cause a bit of a problem, so we can't. Um, because we're going to have to wash this wall because uh, now the soil is starting to, as you can see, is bowing the wood. Now the wood is having a slight curve anyway, but um, we had to just sort of petition that for time being. I've put a hold on it now for digging out. So what we're going to do is uh, a dig out um, and do a stage by stage. So as soon as we dig it out, we're going to backfill it straight away with concrete. Um, because a lot of the time we're digging it out and it's filling straight up. We have digged, we just dug a hole here just to keep an eye on the water line and see what it goes down over time. Um, if it does, within the next couple of weeks, we'll come straight back and start putting concrete in. But uh, yeah, it's um, this is going to be a retaining wall uh, with steel rebar, rebars going in it, um, hollow blocks, concrete hollow blocks. Um, and it's going to have double concrete blocks on the bottom going up to at least six or seven bricks high. Now that's going to take quite a bit of weight. So we're putting the that's why we're putting the steel bars in there. Um, I will show you basically when we get to that stage, but the next stage will be when we get the concrete out. But I just thought I'd show you basically how it is, how far we've got, and as you can see, if I go up here, this is a uh, as you can see we've raised it up a little bit. Um, obviously it's all heaped up at the minute, but uh, that's most of that soil is going to go back in. Um, so yeah, I mean the the timbers there just to support the the uh, the soil from falling back on us, and we're going to put a we can just see that water line up there. That's basically where the concrete footing is going to go, and then behind that concrete footing, we're going to put a French drain with felted round and shingled in. So that's all going to go around the whole thing and come down, come down through here. And then connect up to that pipe, which I already put in the ground uh, early on. Um, as you can see, I also put um, surface drains that goes all the way around the house. You can see them a bit more clearer now because of some of the stuff was out of the way. Um, that was one of the first jobs we done. That's actually took quite a lot of surface water away now. But uh, yeah, this the next problem is the uh, the French drains. But digging out footings and causing this problem is not good. Okay, guys. Um, Check back uh, on part three when I hopefully get the concrete in. Cheers. Bye.